From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi there everyone, Power 5 meteorologist Brian Shaw here. We stay dry for this evening and tonight. A few clouds out there, but it's going to be warm. 10 o'clock, we're still in the upper 70s. We're only falling down into the low 70s to upper 60s for the overnight. Hot and humid again for tomorrow in the upper 80s. All right, let's take a look at today's top stories. A nine-year-old girl shot in the chest by a 15-year-old. Our crews on scene could hear that teen screaming and crying, apologizing in the backseat of a police car on East 186th Street in Cleveland. Police say it does look like this shooting was an accident. We're told the little girl was conscious and was talking. Police and special agents busted up a homemade explosives operation in Parma. Investigators say Charles W. Johnson and his son Charles P. Johnson we're both charged after Parma police, the ATF, the state fire marshal, and the bomb squad searched both of their homes. They say they found nearly 200 homemade explosives and the materials to make them at the father's home, and they believe the explosives were then being sold out of the son's home. Researchers are watching Lake Erie closely tonight, afraid that toxic algae that uh, formed in Sandusky Bay may be making its way into the lake. That could mean we would see those massive algae blooms again this summer. But an expert from Bowling Green tells the Toledo Blade that so far toxin levels are fairly low and are not threatening the water for those living lakeside like it did back in 2014. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or open the News5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.